All right, next we're going to look at this graph. And kind of like before, we can look at some things um, like the phase shift right here. Um, you can either factor this. Now, to factor it, I would need a 3 in both the numerator and the denominator. And then I would want to factor out that 3. So the 3 comes from both. So the 3 from both numerators go away. And then, but I still have that 3 down there. So that's where I get the pi over 6. Um, again, if that bothers you, and to get the phase shift, you can always set 3x, what was it, plus pi over 2, the original, equal to 0. Multiply by a third. So there's my phase shift there. So my phase shift is a negative pi over 6. All right, again, you set it equal to 0 if you have it in factored form. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and erase that work just to create some space here. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Um, the period. Oh, sorry, that's a little wide. Um, the period is, again, with tangent, you have to remember the default is pi. It's not 2 pi. It's pi is normal. And, again, you divide by the coefficient to get the period. So that's going to be my period. Um, my vertical shift is that out there, exactly what it says. And then now this guy... Um, there is no amplitude um, with a tangent friend. It doesn't make sense. Um, right. But what does make sense is this is going to either pull it or push it. So it is going to change the shape of the graph, but it's not amplitude. But it is going to matter. All right. Um, we'll worry about domain and range and stuff like that later. So basically, if you want to graph this, um, you need to fix your key points. Now we're going to have a few more key points to fit because instead of using just five key points, I like to add in those 45s so we kind of have nine key points to fix. But the process again is the same. So how am I going to fix my x's? Well, with x's you're trying to undo them so that when you input them you end up getting those nice key points. That's the whole goal of fixing your x's. You're shifting them so that when you do the math it ends up being nice and it ends up lining up on the zeros, 45s, 90s, and all that jazz. So that's where you want to undo the math. So I'm going to divide by 3 to get rid of that, and I'm going to subtract pi over 6, which again is just your phase shift in the correct form. So again, typically we do fractions, so I'm going to multiply by a third and subtract pi over 6 from my original angles, and that will fix all of my x. So that's my fix on the x. Now, my fix on the y is always easier because after I fix my angle, then my output is fine. Okay, so I'm going to just take it times a half and add y. And that's going to go ahead and fix those. And I'll make another video on doing that process.